each time I come, I, I try not to speak for, for, for a day or two or three. And just to go back and find the silence that was in me then. And I say to myself, how many of us did not live? And simply vanished. Look, look at this place. Mm. The immensity of the place. It's a universe. And when you think of the numbers, a million, a million and a half people, just think country that or a city that has a million and a half inhabitants and simply vanishes. And so I think of that. I come here and try to see the invisible and try to hear the inaudible. And I always see what I had seen the last time I was here, convinced of that, that they, some, some voices are still here. Mm -hmm. I think the souls are here. I think that they listen, they cry, they warn. Look, this is the largest cemetery in recorded history. And what do you see? Nothing. But uh, the cemetery is in our heart. It was meant to be huge in order to receive so many millions. I remember the first impression I had when I came. When we came, it was at night, midnight, and it was with all the lights on, projectors, dogs, shepherds, German shepherds, assess with machine guns, but it, the vastness of it. The vastness of the whole place. And we, we didn't know. That. That's the main thing. We had no idea what Auschwitz was. We never heard the word Auschwitz. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew what it meant. Look, if had we known, we would have run into the forest.